Okay, YouTube, this video is for Jeff Colt, who wanted to see about the Acoustomagnetic and the um, RF security tags. And I've got my deactivator here, which is just like what the stores use. Basically, we're going to open one of the Acoustomags up right now, and inside, you've got these two strips of, I think they call it amorphous alloy metal. It's not magnetizable, but it is magnetic, if that makes any sense. And in the back part, you have this other strip, which is just pretty much like spring steel. And how this works is when this strip here is magnetized, it biases these two strips. And those two strips are actually loosely held inside there, so they can oscillate. When it's brought through the security gates, they oscillate at 58 kilohertz, which the other tower could detect, and it will set off the alarm. When it's run over one of these pads, it demagnetizes the, the little bias strip, the little, little hard metallic one that's held in here. So, that's how that works. And here we have a hard tag, and it's beeping at me, yeah. But basically, that's how it works. The RF tags are basically a tank circuit. This here, right here is the coil, the antenna, and here's a, a basically a thin film capacitor. And they're designed to oscillate at 8.2 megahertz. Now, whenever you bring them through the towers, it creates a field disturbance, and the towers can pick that up and set off the alarm. Whenever they demagnetize or deactivate one of these, basically all it does is it gives it a strong pulse of electromagnetic energy and that little dot right there will actually bridge the capacitor over and detunes it, it fries it. These cannot be reused. These though can. If you run a magnet over them, just rub a magnet across them, it'll re-energize them, it'll reactivate them, and they can be deactivated all over again. This one here is just a coil, like what comes out of the spider wraps, put in a little plastic. Now if you notice, these ones are jumping around because of the magnetic fields. Basically all this is is like a big degaussing coil. It puts out a 60 hertz alternating current field that demagnetizes this. So another good thing I use this for is demagnetizing my screwdrivers so they won't hold iron filings and stuff like that on them and get stuff stuck to them. It's actually a pretty handy thing. I got this at a second hand store. They don't, I don't think they knew what it was. It was 10 bucks for this and the controller down there. I've got another one somewhere, but yeah, basically this thing, the way it works, is it first detects the tag and then demagnetizes it. So it's not always putting out that pulsed field, because see this tag's already deactivated, and it's not not doing that, but this one, that one's deactivated too. Yeah, so basically that's how it works. I can take a, my bag of tags and just yet. Oh, excuse me, just deactivated most of them right there. But yeah, that's how it works. And if you hold a hard tag over it, like for in this case a super tag, it does that long beat to let you know that there's a hard tag there that you need to take off. It won't deactivate them, they're, they're permanent. Well, I hope this answered your questions, and anyone else that found this interesting, I hopefully it was. Um, thanks for watching. As always, comment, rate, subscribe in the buttons below, and let me know what you think. Have a good one.